I give you five bucks for your bronze color, bro. I, I am Mexican and Puerto Rican. I am like, I'm double the Mexican. I know what it is, bro. We're talking. Horchata is brown. Horchata is not brown. Yeah. Alright, so right now me and Mitch got something going on. So I need you guys to comment down below right now because there's five dollars online and we could use it for gas or something like that. What color is horchata? Is it brown or is it white? I say brown, Mitch says white. I think he's retarded. Horchata's brown. Everybody here is saying, look at this. No. No, no we, we said it. No. The polls are active now. Okay, let me see. Those are all white. You know, it's not going to come up right on camera, look it. Oh, you don't get to pick the darkest horchata, we're no, taking the average. It's not picking the darkest horchata. Horchata is brown. I'm not giving you five bucks for your bronze color, Brian. <laughs> horchata <laughs> is brown. I am Mexican and Puerto Rican. I am like, I'm double the Mexican. I know what it is, bro. Horchata is brown, it's not white. I've never drank white horchata before. Edwin. Let's ask. Edwin. Anthony, team. Anthony. What color is horchata? Oh. What? what color is horchata? White or brown? Uh, don't do this to me. Uh, it's ivory. No, no, no. You have to pick either white or brown. Okay. It's white. Yep. Yeah. What color? What, what, color, what color is horchata? horchata? If you okay. get, if you get the horchata like, like actual Mexican horchata, it's brown. Woo! Let's go! Yeah, That's the stupidest <laughs> shit ever. You got two colors. If a white person has sex with a black person, right? They don't come off off white. They come out f***ing brown. Gloss, white, ivory. And ivory is a word people use for white. Have you no, heard that song? Caucasian, Ebony and ivory? Caucasian is oh, what no, you use for white. Caucasian. <laughs> you use Caucasian for no. white. Fine, fine, this fine, is fine, not. Fine, fine. <laughs> Bro. Have to get back to no, work. No, no, you don't work anymore. Look at me. Listen here. Look at listen. But I'm done with the conversation. Look at. I expect so my when five dollars. No, you're not gonna listen. Listen, listen, listen. Listen here, you hoe. This is my oh my son's ivory. Light ivory. So f is this my Kardashian show? You lost, bro. My $5. I'm gonna start saying, oh, that's a, look at this is a off, this is a off till. What's up guys, it's another day here at Premium. Another busy, crazy, freaky day that I don't know how we're gonna get through. But <laughs> anyways, we got another crazy day here, trying to figure out how we're gonna get through everything. I wouldn't say we're backed up on projects, but we just have a lot going on right now. Johnny and I are bouncing around on different cars. Daniel's doing his thing. We got fridges to wrap for season's meal prep. We have tons of orders coming in, but at the end of the day, thank you guys so much for all the support. This wouldn't be possible without you guys. Let's get into the vlog. I got some orders to check for Anthony really quick, and I'm gonna dive back into the clinched Mustang. Johnny's gonna be dancing for a little bit, and then we're gonna get to it. Hey bro, what are you doing? I'm doing tripping? all right, Hefe. That's how a conversation could go. How's it's a freaking A and B conversation. Yeah, how are, how's it going, Anthony? Expect me to fucking talk for like Because I'm asking straight. a question for the premium fam. They want to know how's it going, Anthony? How's the orders doing? How's the shipping is going? Oh, well, in that case, yeah, they don't care about is how you're dandy. Doing. Yeah, they don't particularly care about you. They want to know yeah. if their product's going to be here on time or when it's going to be. What is this? What happened? I don't want to give How am I going to give them a physical meme? Daniel, how do you send memes, bro? Tell me, how would you send a meme? Send a meme? Yeah. Hey, what color is horchata? Oh, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. milky. You have two options. It's either white or brown. Brown. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's fine. We already settled the No, you owe me deal. money. No. Give me my five dollars. What's up, boss? What's up, bro? Bye, boss. <laughs> So I, I told Hefe, put up the camera because I had an interesting conversation last night. Going to dinner, I met with some guys that were uh, fans of the channel. So they came up, they said what up, we talked a bit, and the individual that I was talking to, there's there five guys, but one particular that I was having a conversation with, he was saying that he wants to get business going, he wants to do vehicle wraps, and he wants to start his own wrap shop. The vibe that I got from him was very, and, and I, I hope when you hear this you don't think that I'm dissing you, I felt like you were focusing on more on being envious of people that are in the same industry that are already doing it 
uh, instead of being inspired. So I told you exactly that. I told him, I said, don't be envious, be inspired. And uh, a lot of the things he was saying to me was like, oh, well, this person has that, and this person has this, and you have a huge Instagram following, and you have a good YouTube following. And to me, I'm like, dude, like, be inspired to, be inspired by that, you know? Don't look at it as a negative thing of why your business isn't gonna thrive. Yes, you know, those are all steps that help my business grow, but I, I actively pursued all of that. It just didn't happen overnight, you know what I mean? The, the Instagram following, I put emphasis on it. The YouTube channel, a year ago, we decided to push towards it, and we're at where we're at now. So my thing is like, you know, it was a great conversation. This guy and I, we had a good conversation. It, was, it lasted about 20 minutes outside of a Buffalo Wild Wings. And uh, it was cool, it was, it was good for me to hear like his side of it, but I also wanted to put this on, on camera here because you know, he even told me, because I think you should talk about, you know, about being more inspired rather than uh, being envious, because I called it, I was like, bro, I think you're kind of envious of these people rather than looking up to them and, and, and taking it as inspiration. So I hope if you're watching, I hope you understand what I'm saying and it's not a diss, but be inspired. And I've always been inspired. I, I, I look at things, I, I see companies doing really well, and I'm never envious, I always just, use it as motivation, I look up to it. There's other rap shops that are killing it that have more YouTube following than us, more Instagram following, more business than us, but I'm inspired. You know, those things make me, they get, I get excited because we get the same seven days a week, we get the same air in our lungs, like we can all, all achieve the same goals. If somebody did it, I can do it as well. So I, I'm inspired by it and I advise you guys to be the same. And I guess this little quick little rant that I'm going on is just gonna give away the hashtag for the day. So it's inspired, comment below, just comment inspired. I, I think that it's something that everybody should look into, whether whatever industry you're in, just find something to be inspired by and use it as a goal and don't use it to, as a disadvantage of being envious because envy is probably the worst thing you could have, you know, especially when you're trying to build your own empire. Don't be envious. You're doing it for that. All right, so the BMW's finished up. We're gonna deliver that to the client now. So he's on his way, I think he's coming from LA. About an hour drive. So we're gonna pull in the BMW, get it cleaned up, get it presentable for him. If you guys been watching the vlog the past couple days, we've been wrapping a 330, I believe, 330i BMW. I may be wrong, but uh, it is a BMW, I can tell you that. We finished it, we wrapped it in the satin dark gray from 3M, really cool color. We blacked out all of the chrome with the gloss black. I think it just really brought life back to the car. It's a little bit older of a car, uh, but it's nice. And I just feel like we brought life back into it. So we're gonna pull it in, get it ready for the customer, and we'll show you guys the delivery. Let's do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys made it to the end of the vlog. Thank you guys so much for the support. I say that all the time, but I am super thankful. In this vlog, you see us finish up this car. We've been working on it throughout the, for the last week. Mitch and Johnny really went in, took care of this, detail by detail. And I was actually talking to the owner. He's in the military. And I told him, I said, I do a lot of work with military and law enforcement. And it's cool because I know that those individuals are usually very detail oriented. It's just something that I've learned over time. And I actually thrive on doing that, taking on that kind of business because it just pushes us even harder. Very detailed individual came in, got his car wrapped, and he walked away happy. So for me, like, goal. You know, we did what we had to do. And uh, that's always, no matter what, whoever we're dealing with, we're always striving to make sure every detail's right. And that just ultimately, the customer just has a good experience. And I think we achieved that. Hopefully uh, his reaction was great, whether it was or wasn't. I know people are usually scared when this camera pops up. But um, well, this was a fun project. I'm glad you guys watched. Do me a favor, share on Facebook. We really need that help on Facebook. We're trying to build our Facebook page. So if you're not already following us on Facebook, please go to our Facebook down below. I said Facebook 15 times in the last 30 seconds because I really, really want you guys to go over there. So go down to the link in our description, follow us on Facebook, say what's up on Facebook, comment. I don't know if you guys are there or not. I don't know if people are still on 
Facebook. We'll be at Spec D Tuning in the city of industry, I believe. So if you guys are familiar with Spec D, they do custom headlights and taillights. Go visit their website, go visit their Instagram. But they are throwing their annual car show and we are going to it. So we'll be there bright and early in the morning. If you guys are watching this vlog tonight and you guys are located within the IE, San Diego, Los Angeles area, Please come to their show. Please come say what up to us. We'd love to meet you guys. And we will have a booth and we will have merchandise, license plate, t-shirts, hats, stickers, decals, skateboards, windshield banners. All of that stuff will be available at the show. So come visit us. Come meet the crew. We'll be there. We'd love to meet you guys. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Premium model, we got racks. Over 6,000 designs, and that's a fact. Custom lights and the dopest graphics. How your whip looking clean when you in traffic. Okay. Your ride look fresh on the interstate. Yeah. Sweeter than a Kit Kat, now take a break. Whoa. Tell everybody that it's a rap. Uh -huh. Premium model is a team, and that's a fact.